Hey everybody, this is Everyday Commentary, and I was working on an article and I thought this would make a great video. So let's talk about it. This is my full EDC. This is everything I carry on a daily basis. So first I use uh, this. This is the Cadet by Tom Ben. Inside the Cadet, I have um, a Levenger leather notebook. This is a folio. So it has notes on one side. I'm not going to open it up because there's uh, privileged stuff in there. Uh, there's notes on one side. There's a pen slot here. I have a multi-pen. Um, I believe it is a Charbo multi-pen in here. Um, but that usually rides inside the cadet in between the inner pocket and the outermost pocket. Uh, the laptop is in the cadet with a cadet uh, with a sleeve. And the sleeve has rails so that you can take the laptop out without taking it completely out of your bag. It'll stay attached. I also have a notebook. This is the notebook I use for when I'm taking notes for uh, some of the municipal uh, committees that I'm on that I volunteer for. Uh, it's a USARI notebook and the paper is amazing. So that's the bag itself. The laptop in there is just a, you know, an El Cheapo. Actually, it wasn't cheap. It was a Lenovo, but I, I just hate PCs. So, um, this is a Tom Ben accessory bag, and in it I have a generic Amazon special super thin um, power bank. I have uh, a iHome double USB. Uh, collapsible wall charger. Um, this is a really thin AC adapter wall charger kind of thing. And the collapsibility means that it rests very thin in the bag. So that's a big deal for me. Um, it came, I have, uh, I scrounged this from a, another piece. This is a USB-A to USB-C adapter. So I have that in there. This is a charger for um, all kinds of different batteries. It rides in there. I have a cigarette lighter. I don't know why I still have this, but just in case, it also rides in there. Um, my cell phone that I'm using to record this, the charging port is on the, my iPhone is broken, so I have to use a key charger uh, to do it, and I am not about to spend money to fix a phone that I will probably get rid of in the next six months. This is a multi-USB cable. It has a cord on the out, uh, it has, um, like a paracord on the outside, it's just a little bit more durable. It has USB, it has lightning, USB, uh, micro USB and USB-C to USB-A. So I can use that with the iHome flat double charger. Uh, I usually carry two pens. One that I use as a writing pen, the other that I use as a loner or as a pen if, in case this one runs out. This is the matte black vanishing point. This is the uh, tactile turn side click love 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 this pen i carry my keys but i don't really ever use them so they stay in the bag uh, i have uh, beat fit pro uh, earbuds um, i have a wallet the wallet was custom made by uh sunny straps which is uh andrew gene um, who used to be on the podcast with me um i still have the actual card that went in here the pcmcia card from the late 90s, early 2000s laptop is long since gone, but because this fits perfectly in a pocket, which I'm about to show you, I carry this in my laptop and it's just a way of keeping uh, a couple bills and loose change. I typically don't have any cash on me in my wallet. Um, it's just a pain in the butt and there's no really easy way to carry change. So uh, let's show you how all this stuff goes in. So there's the organizer in the front it's not gigantic, but it's big enough that I know how to where stuff is. So this is a locking espinner from Night Eyes. It goes on there, goes on a key strap. I typically toss it down in the bag so that it doesn't roam around. Uh, pen slot number one is usually a fountain pen. Pen slot number two is usually the side click. So you can see how this is going so far. Um, and then this, the PCMCIA card, 
slots in. Look how perfectly this slots in. This is really why I kept it. Because there's always a pouch this size in a bag. It just slides in perfectly. Uh, right next to that, I put the Beats Fit Pro. I use these to answer calls at work. And if I'm working on the road, like at a coffee shop, I put those in to block out the noise. Um, the last thing I typically drop in is I drop in this guy. This was a laptop charger I got off of Monoprice. They wanted like $180 for the stock one, which has long since stopped working. This was 17 bucks and it charges it faster and it's better made. So uh, just look around when you have this kind of things to buy. Um, drop that in. This goes inside here. And then if I need to, I can put slide my water bottle. This is a purist water bottle. It has a glass coating on the inside. It is also pretty durable. And this is one of the best lids I've ever found. I love, love, love this water bottle. It is very expensive. I think it's like 50 or 60 bucks, but I've had it for a couple of years. It still looks nice. It keeps the water cool, but it just tastes so good because of the glass coating on the inside. So, and then I have uh, my carry for today. This is the uh, Casio Grand Seiko Snowflake, the S SBGA211. This is the uh, Hoku uh, Clicky the, from uh, Dawson Machine Craft. This is probably the very best light in the world right now. I love this light so much. And then this is a V3. Uh, millet torrent this is such a sweet little knife it's all going in my pocket so i have my wallet my knife my phone my flashlight and my knife along with my watch on my person and then everything else rides in the bag though i do sometimes carry the water bottle i also have a yeti water bottle so these two swap out depending on what i need the yeti is a little more durable if i know i'm going to be banging around so that was everything I carry in the bag. That's everything I carry on my person. That's my true EDC.